Hi, so we've been working with these things. These are high voltage, high speed motors that you get for about five pounds out of a hand blender or a detail sander, something like that. And they're really fascinating things because they go in line with the idea I've got that the high RPM per volt is what you're looking for when you're looking at generation. Now in the previous video, we did the world's tiniest generator using this, a drone motor. The drawback on this is at about sort of 12,000 RPM, you need about 3.7 volts. So the uh, RPM per volt is quite low. On this one, that RPM per volt is quite high because it's about 240 volts and it's about 18,000, 10 to 18,000 RPM. So they're a really good choice. And it's also the one that we've been playing with. Now I can get a little obsessive about things, <laughs> So there'll be days of videos on the same topic. That drives some people mad and some people like it and some people think I'm quite eclectic in what it is I'm interested in. And it's true, I am. But that's because all things come to play on all other things. There is no real division. You never know when something's going to help. You never know when an idea is going to spring from another idea. And so I do lots of things. Anyway, super interested in these. Now, how to make this into a really simple generator that's going to cost you, well, oh, seven pounds or so. These things are out of a blower, and they're absolutely perfect for this. Got a little conic section in here, angle blades there, and if we stick one of them on there, which is really just a matter of putting a piece of tube in there and sticking it on there with the connecting system that I showed you, what we get is this. So this is just a blower fan stuck on that motor, and there's a terminal block connector to hold it to the rotor, and that, of course, will spin. Spinning means it's going to generate. Now, we've got no wind, so we're going to put a hairdryer on it. Okay, I've got it connected up to my LED strip, which is right there, which is something like 15 LEDs at 12 volts, something like that. I'm not 100% sure, but let's turn our hairdryer on. <laughs> You might have noticed that actually worked in three directions. It worked from this side, this side, and that side, obviously not from behind. So ideal for sticking on a wall. I mean, that cost seven pounds and took about 10 minutes to make. So if you want more detail on its output, why not just make one and give it a go? It's not really that difficult to see what that will actually do. And I thought it was absolutely fascinating. Now there is one other thing about this. It is multifunctional. <laughs> Okay, we've seen this work in wind, we've seen this work with friction, and it also works in water. So let's give it a water stream. <laughs> of course, if we stuck a supercapacitor or battery or a little bit of electronics on there, we'd be able to store that energy. Anyway, I thought that was super interesting because it is so simple that you could give it a go for next to nothing and see what you can come up with. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.